What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. Same time about Halloween ends once again. So Halloween ends, we know I had a video previously talking about the fact that James Duke Courtney was not going to be starting production until February because that's what he had said. Now, the idea around that was that people thought that that also meant that production wasn't going to start on the film entirely until february but i in that video i did mention the fact that that could mean that he's just not going to be there because they could still start production without michael myers and just be filming a lot of scenes before michael myers of course is needed to be involved with the events that unfold in the film so it seems that halloween ends did indeed start production I, it looks like i guess today because that's what the plan was apparently to start production on january 19th uh and we did find out one of the new cast members joining Jamie Lee Curtis, Andy Matichak, and Kyle Richards. We have found out that Michael O'Leary, he'll be coming in to play a character named Dr. Mathis. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Dr. Mathis is a character whose name was mentioned in Halloween Kills. I believe that was the individual who got mentioned when the nurse and doctor couple, when his wife was mentioning that he should go into the office and punch Dr. Mathis in the face. I believe that's where we heard Dr. Mathis's name for the first time in Halloween Kills, but I might be mistaken. I'm pretty sure we heard his name in that film, though. So what role he'll play? Who knows? We'll probably just hear just he'll probably just be a minor character that we learned about and how he had it. What his relation might have been like with the doctor who passed away four years ago, etc., and his wife and just maybe he has a bad reputation in town also for his ways not just with that couple that we heard from in halloween kills but some other capacity and as far as like the production and images that we can expect from production if production did indeed start today as it was being planned to then we should be getting some news shortly or production images shortly from anyone who's out there i'm, I'm imagining there's a lot of people that are out there going to be taking pictures and posting them online sharing us all these tidbits and details as far as like what's going on out there in savannah georgia so mr o'leary put out this tweet that's now been deleted i'll, I'll leave a link to the bloody disgusting article down in the description because i actually did come across the, the tweet before it got deleted but he has since deleted it before i got a chance to record and talk about it he says that Halloween ends. I'm thrilled to announce that I'll be playing the role of Dr. Mathis in John Carpenter's iconic slasher starring Jamie Lee Curtis. The other thing to point out here is that this individual, uh, Mr. O'Leary, he actually did put out a tweet saying that he would be in a movie because he's he's deleted several tweets there was one tweet i think like around in november december on his page he put out something saying that he will be participating in the movie cave dwellers now remember cave dwellers is the working title for halloween ends uh so he's he had been saying this for quite a while one was in cold with the working title cave dwellers then another recent tweet he put out where he just flat out named that he's participating in john carpenter's iconic slasher playing the character of dr mathis but those tweets both have been deleted i can't find them anywhere on his twitter at this time we know the film will have a time jump what that will include still don't know as far as like what the characters have been through these characters i'm most most focused on right now are jamie lee curtis's character of laurie strode and allison nelson played by andy matichak i'm assuming allison lives with her grandmother there's probably some tension in the household as well maybe allison is suffering the same way Lori was kind of struggling for the past 40 years until michael ended up escaping like she had always thought he would and she says she even prayed for that because she wanted to kill him so we'll get to see ho hopefully how allison has been affected and how their relationship has kind of probably been kind of fractured in ways or how it's kind of probably brought them together with the loss of Alice's mom, her father, Alice's mom being Lori's daughter, Karen Strode, and just kind of really just diving into what these two have been up to before jumping into, you know, the carnage with Michael Myers. And, you know, he's back for more bloodshed because we know that there's going to be bodies piling up. I would like Halloween ends to not do what Halloween Kills did, which was give you a lot of returning characters with almost no knowledge of what they are like as it is today the movie was heavily reliant on you just being this being nostalgic over seeing lindsey and tommy back and marion chambers lonnie you know we just don't learn enough about them to ultimately care about their their fates because they they have some moments where they're talking and we learn that they are 
are friends that come together to commemorate what they have went through 40 years ago but then that's that's it we don't really get to learn too much about them i'm hoping kyle richards gets a chance to shine a lot more have that scene with Lori to kind of just see what their relationship is like now because i'm assuming they definitely have talked in the past four years about the events that have happened probably sad about tommy as well and i would just like to see some dialogue and spend some time with these characters before we jump into the bloodshed and gore and i would like just some type of heart behind the film have a lot of heart to it I would like us to learn about any new characters that they plan to introduce before they start dying off. You don't have to give us like overly long monologues about anyone or anything. Let their traits stand out. Let let different personalities stand out. Let these characters come to life and let us be able to identify all these unique traits about them before they start dying. So we can grow attached to them and making the, the bloodshed for Michael Myers just that much more gut-riching at times. Because there honestly wasn't a single moment in Halloween Kills besides karen i would say karen definitely got me where i was upset that any of those people died not that it matters but that goes back to my thing that you need to develop the characters give us something to root for with them Lindsay and tommy of course i'm not saying i wanted them to die but when i'm not learning what they've been through for the past 40 years other than they come to a bar and get drunk or something like that you know that's not that's not really giving me any ammo to get invested in a character that in this timeline i haven't seen for well in in the real world more than 40 years and in this timeline it's been 40 years because it's still october of 2018 so hopefully we get some differences with character development here this time around more character development so we can get attached to the characters i am definitely hoping that Lindsay is the person that we get to have fleshed out a lot more since kyle richards is coming back and something about kyle rich's performance in halloween kills i was just wanting to see more of that character and learn a lot more about her i thought she did a great job but hopefully we'll get some behind the scenes images if halloween ends did indeed start filming this week and hopefully we'll get to see dr mathis if they have some image that comes out of him on set he's actually i think not supposed to be there though until january 27th so you know we'll, we'll start to learn some things along the way and i think production is supposed to run from january to march honestly but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and this video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video